So now I will count the ballots. We have received eight votes for Hillary Clinton for president and one ballot which cannot be um, received. So we will uh, ask the electors to nominate a replacement elector so that a ninth vote can be cast. We need an elector who will cast a vote for the person who received the most votes for president in the state of Colorado. So, is there? So we, have, we have a nomination for a new uh, elector. That no, you don't. Let him cast his vote. Celeste Landry. Celeste Landry. I need a vote. All right, second. And I need a vote of the electors for Celeste Landry. All in favor, please raise your hand. So we have a majority that has selected a new elector, Celeste Landry. Is Celeste Landry available? Celeste Landry? Excuse me, excuse me, thank you. Uh, my name is Jason Wasoki and Michael Baca has asked for my counsel. Pursuant uh, to the Tenth Circuit's order, the Tenth Circuit being the Federal Court of Appeals that governs the state of Colorado. Counsel, you're free to visit with your client. Issued an this opinion. This is not your program. Stating that thank the... Thank you, sir. Attempt, we have... We'll call on the Chief Justice to administer the oath of office for the duly elected elector. The Tenth Circuit has stated that an attempt by the Secretary after voting has begun, which it has, is unlikely in light of the text of the Twelfth Amendment. Therefore, uh, as Mr. Bacchus counsel, uh, we would request that the Secretary not remove uh, Mr. Baca and that the Secretary lacks the authority to do so under the Constitution yes. of the United States. Yes. As some may be aware, these specific issues were raised in the state court. The state court issued a ruling allowing and directing to that electors who failed to do their duty to vote for Colorado's voters, those who failed to follow Colorado's law, and a rule in applying both the Colorado and U.S. constitutions as well as Colorado law found that removal is the appropriate step under the procedures of Colorado law. That removal has taken place. We will now proceed. We will now proceed with the administration of the oath. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. If you'd raise your right hand, please, and repeat after me. I, please state your name. I'm Celeste Landry. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And of the state of Colorado. And of the state of Colorado. That I will faithfully perform that I will faithfully perform the duties of the office of presidential elector, the duties of the office of presidential elector, that I am about to enter, that I am about to enter, and that I will vote for the presidential candidate, 
And that I will vote for the presidential candidate. And vice presidential candidate. And vice presidential candidate. Who received the highest number of votes. Who received the highest number of votes. At the preceding general election. At the preceding general election. In this state. In this state. Thank you. If you would sign, and I'll sign as well. Thank you. Thank you. I will give a ballot to the new elector. For Hillary Clinton as president. So we will pass out the vice presidential ballots now.